Hey guys, Ricardo here. Welcome to another blog tech tips. In today's tutorial, guys, we'll be looking at um, a fix for iOS 14 where your caller ID is basically showing the um, wrong information. So this is a wrong caller ID showing on iPhone or iOS 14 fix. All right. So in cases, um, whenever our incoming call is coming through, um, you're not getting the full information. For example, you are not seeing the full identification of who is calling or maybe information is missing such as um, the area code for the person. So for example, if it's a call from the United States or a particular state, it's not showing up as it normally would and you're not getting or being privileged the entire information as it's not being displayed correctly. Now this is a common issue that can occur in cases you're having this um, particular issue guys it can be fixed once you know what to do so if your caller id is um, like that and of course sometimes you may realize if you go into um, your dialer and go into your recent calls you'll notice of course that the history that's shown up there you'll find that the full history is shown once you go to recent and you can identify the person on the caller you can identify the person on the caller from the recent call list but in the immediate um, call it's very confusing as you can't tell the full information as to who is calling or where they're calling from. All right. So I think you get the general idea. Now, in case you're having this particular issue on your device, in case you're having this particular issue on your device, you're going to do the following. Of course, in any of these situations, make sure that you go ahead and restart your iPhone. And of course, you can do this by hitting power and volume down, holding. And of course, slide into power off. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just showing you. Once you do that, you should be good. In cases your device is frozen, you can actually do a force restart. And of course, um, that should also help out in cases where you do not, um, you cannot restart by the normal means. We have videos on how to do a force restart separately. All right. So that's the first thing. That's the first thing you can do. Another thing that you can try, guys, is updating your iPhone. As usual, go to um, Settings. Once you're in Settings, go down to General. You're going to go to Software Update. Check for updates. And, of course, if you have the latest update, it should be good. However, if not, make sure that you update your device. All right, so that's the second thing to do to fix the, fix the problem. All right, guys, um, in some cases, it's a good idea to do the full-on force reboot. It might help directly versus a reboot. So um, let me just include this in the video as well. So you're going to quickly press volume up. Then you're going to press volume down. And then, of course, you're going to quickly, um, once you press volume button um, down, you're going to next, while holding on to that, you're going to hit power. All right, so volume up, volume down, and you're going to press on hold power. You're going to let go when you see the Apple logo. And that should do a force restart of your device. It might slightly differ on older devices, but you can research or look up how to do that on various devices. This is the iPhone 11. All right. Now, um, of course, next, you can actually go into settings. You're going to scroll down all the way down. Sorry, settings. You're going to look for general. Um, you're going to come into the about section and of course in here in some cases um, you might get a update that's pushed to the phone from your carrier based on what network you're on so it would be a good idea to make sure you have the internet and check out um, this area in here of course you might get some form of update or push update to your phone based on network um, carrier and provider on some devices you may have to go into um, settings you can check out mobile um, data you can check out your network select maybe um, there are options in here that might push um, further network updates you can select your network provider sometimes reselecting your provider might push um, settings to the phone um, a similar thing could be achieved Right, so the idea is to reconnect to your network. If you can't find anything in either of those settings, another trick I find to reconnect to the network, which tend to prompt um, pushing notifications to the phones and help with network problems. Um, in case a network issue is to go to um, airplane mode. So the stop simply top airplane mode. It will turn off all radios in your device with 15 seconds and turn it back on. It will connect and of course notice it reconnects to your voicemail server sometimes doing that 
will be enough to reconnect to your network provider and help fixing um, such issues that you might um, have. All right, so that's the other option. Another thing to do, guys, it might just be an issue with the OS itself where you need a complete reset. Go ahead and back up your device. You can use iTunes or you can try a manual backup. You're going to go to settings. Once you're in settings, you're going to scroll down to general. And of course, once you're in general, you're going to go over to the option that says reset at the um, end there. Once you're here, guys, next, you're going to look for um, the option that says reset all settings. So reset all settings is the first option. Go ahead and tap, enter your password, and of course, run through the tutorial. By doing that, it should fix the problem as well um, in most cases because your device is going to be wiped back to its default state. And of course, that might wipe out problem settings that's causing the error with your caller ID. Another thing that could be the issue, guys, is that your um, contacts is corrupted. So you will need to reload your contacts depending on where your contacts are from. Um, depending on your device, um, you might want to recall those from your iCloud account. Um, this one, you'll need a browser. So go ahead and launch a browser. I prefer if you do this from your um, laptop or Mac. So go ahead, guys, and you're going to go to the main website for your iCloud account, which is iCloud.com. Then, of course, once you're in iCloud.com, you're going to go to account settings. At the bottom of the page, under advanced, you're going to find an option. And that option is going to say, sorry, you're going to find an option under advanced. You're going to click restore contacts. All of these options are at the base of the page, lower um, left. And of course, you're going to click restore next to the date you want. Of course, that date should be somewhere recent. So you get all of your contacts. You will um, hit restore again to confirm. And of course, if you have other ways or means that you backed up your contacts by reloading them, it should help out in fixing the issue. All right. So um, guys, please note that this is a software based issue. It's either the contacts itself is corrupted and needs to be reloaded or the phone itself needs to be refreshed in some way, as with those tips that I showed. I hope this was helpful as well, guys. As usual, it's Ricardo Gardner from Blog Tech Tips, saying bye until um, next time. Bye, guys.